Hey brothers and sisters, I just wanted to talk about something that I just kind of thought about and uh, I don't know, last night I was watching a lot of street preaching videos. I really love watching street preaching. Um, you know, I've heard a lot of people say they have problems with it, that they claim to be Christian, they have a problem with street preaching. If you got a problem with street preaching, then I think you need to check your salvation really. The Bible commands people to go out and preach. And, um, you know, from time to time, I still, I even watch people, you know, that, that are heretics that, you know, I've talked about Jesse Morrell, and, you know, he teaches some really bad things, but when he's street preaching to a certain point, you know, when he's telling people to turn from their sins and to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, then he's given the gospel. You know, but when it comes to the point where he starts having dialogue with people and he starts denying original sin and all that stuff, then, you know, it's... That's bad, <laughs> you know, getting into heresy, and he's teaching people wrong stuff. But, you know, when he's just telling people to turn from their sins and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, and that is the true gospel. And, you know, that's a lot better than these other heretics that are all over YouTube that are denying that people need to turn for their sin for salvation. Because that's wrong. People are not going to get saved if they don't turn from their sin. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that just see it as hateful, and, um, no, I think you should rejoice if you hear, if you see somebody, you know, on the street preaching God's word out loud. Um, and, uh, and I watched some videos last night of just people being arrested for it and being assaulted for it. And I'm just like, wow, I can't believe it. I mean, uh, but it happens. And, uh. You know, I just I just thought just a few minutes ago that I need to add these people to my prayer list. I should pray every day for people who are street preaching, you know, for the boldness to preach. And and that's one of these things about even the people who are heretics. I still admire their zeal. I still admire their boldness to go and preach to do this. And it's something that I certainly want to do. But um for like, well, for one thing, for like the guy being assaulted, he was by himself, and I don't think he had like a visible camera, so I don't think it's going to be something that I'm going to do for a while, because for one, I want to get a lawyer first, I mean, I think it's very good to have a lawyer, and to make sure that everything's going to be alright, I mean, stuff will still happen, even if you have a lawyer, and you've talked to the police and everything, you can still be illegally arrested, but, uh... I want to have some kind of defense if I am arrested or whatever. I want to have that ready and planned out. And also, I, I want to have other people with me. I don't think it's really something that a person should do alone. If you feel led to do it alone, that's fine. But you also, I think you need to have a visible camera. I saw a guy get assaulted. I think that he had, like, uh, camera glasses or something. He might not have had a visible camera that the person attacking him would have saw. And it would deter people from that. People will still do it anyways, but... You do, I think you need to have a visible camera so people know that they're going to be recorded. You should also be with other people. I think you shouldn't do it alone. And I think that it's wise to really have an attorney just in case uh, you're falsely arrested, which happens a lot. But, you know, I want to start praying for these people. At least if I'm not going out and doing it, then I need to pray. But I do hand out gospel tracts. And, you know, I try to talk to people about the Lord. I mean, we're commanded to preach the gospel, so whether you're on the street proclaiming it or just talking to somebody about it in line at the store or whatever, you need to be doing it because God commands it. So you definitely shouldn't have a problem with those who are out there in the streets doing it um, to large crowds. You need to be praying for those people, and I'm going to be praying for them. You know, pray for their protection. Um from people who will assault them, pray for, you know, their protection from being falsely arrested, pray for that, you know, God will, uh, that people will be one to the Lord through them, that people will respond to their message, you know, they definitely need our prayer, and there's, there's many, many people out there spreading the gospel, preaching out loud in the streets, God bless those people. So, I really admire that. I love it. I love watching those videos. It really it really helps my faith, too, to see it, because I know that these are people who are really led, you know, to do this. 
even though, I mean, some of them might not be saved, some of the heretics that I talked about, but, I mean, it still, it helps my faith, anyways, uh, and it's just another way of hearing God's Word, you know, it's just like listening to any Bible teacher, you know, they're, they're giving the gospel, they're preaching truth, as long as they are preaching truth, but, um, People shouldn't have issue with these people as long as they're not teaching heresy, you know, or false doctrine. As long as they're they're telling people to turn from their sin and to turn to believe in the Lord Jesus, then uh, you know, if they're saying that you know homosexuality is sin and all that, well, that's true, and people need to hear that. That's not hateful. So, God bless those people. And I'm just gonna make a note to be praying for the, these people, and I hope that you will too. So thanks, God bless you. Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.